Uncle Chris. Remember when I showed you my food prep video? Well, food prep is essential because it turned cold again here in Chicago and I didn't feel like going out to the store. So, remember that chicken I seasoned, put in this container here, and I froze it? All right. It's still froze, <laughs> but that's okay. Because now, with the food prep, we've done our own frozen meal that we could just pop into our baking dish as such. Okay. Now, we're going to dress it up. We're going to make it seem like I did something really fancy, which I didn't. I'm going to take one can of diced tomatoes. I'm going to pour right into here, okay? Then I'm going to take one can of water. And guess what? Oh, don't you love editing? <laughs> and guess what? I'm going to pour it right over the chicken, okay? Now, I'm going to put this in the oven at 380 degrees for about mm, 45 minutes to maybe an hour or just until it's done. This is going to make its own sauce and its own juice. And when you serve it, it'll look like you went all day when actually you didn't feel like really cooking that much. And <laughs> you just, boom, popped it in there. So let me do that right quick. While my skillet is heating up, I'm going to show you how to make my broccoli and onion dish. It's really great, it's really simple. I'm gonna take off the icky part of the broccoli. Okay. By the way, whoever's interested, someone wrote to me and said, um, I needed a, a cutting board. This is a cutting board. My island, I had, or have, I, I got specifically, because it has a butcher block top you can cut on. I thought this would be cool because it gives me so much more space. <laughs> Don't worry, y'all. And I disinfect my butcher block every night. Yes, I'm old school. So good cleaning. A little bit of bleach, or as some people say, lingo. <laughs> All right. Chop your broccoli up thin, all right? And I'm going to show you why in a minute. Because when it hits the pan, you want it to cook pretty easily, okay? Now, first I'm going to rough chop it. Then, I'm going to chop it like this. Because I'm going to store this onion and use it in other dishes. All right. Now that I got my broccoli and my onions chopped, I'm going to go over here to the skillet and show you how we fry it up, okay? All right. We've got our skillet hot. Let's add a little bit of olive oil. Mm-hmm. We're going to do a little bit of ASMR. <laughs> We're going to add a teaspoon of butter. Mix it together. That scared me. <laughs> you got to have fun in the kitchen, y'all. You do. Okay. Let your butter totally combine. Put in your broccoli and your onion mixture. We're going to saute this around and let it cook a little bit. Then, we're going to add some water to boil them and finish it off. And we're going to boil that water down till it uh, gets halfway or just a little bit in there. And it'll make its own butter sauce. It'll be an intense butter flavor without adding extra butter. Uh-huh. That's the trick. Yeah. 
All right, let's get this sauteed around. Now that it's kind of started here going, and I can smell the onions and the broccoli together, which is really great. Yes, I wish they had smell of this. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of white pepper. You can also use black pepper. And sprinkle it over. Okay? Not too much. Okay? And I'm also going to put a little bit of onion powder over top. All right. Stir this around and get everything really cooking. And when you see the broccoli is starting to cook, add your water. Just enough to cover it and then boil it down. Now that our broccoli has really started to cook, you see that? Add your water. Now, let this come to a boil, then simmer it on down till the liquid is low. Not out, but low, okay? And it's gonna make a nice buttery sauce. If you wanna add more butter, that's up to you. <laughs> but Uncle Chris is on a diet. By the way, this is diabetic friendly. All right. Now, see how this is cooked down? All right, we'll turn off the fire. It is done. We're gonna cover this to keep it warm. So our chicken is done, which should be just a few minutes. Now, if you want, you can lightly sprinkle some Parmesan cheese over top. That's enough. Because remember, Parmesan cheese may have some salt in it. Now, this particular brand I use has a lower sodium content. So. Pick your cheeses wisely. You can also use a monster cheese that melt over top of this, or none at all. But this is a good dish. All right. Oh yeah. Wonderful broccoli dish. Mm. That chicken just steaming away. Mm. <laughs> Nieces and nephews, recipes don't have to be complicated. Especially when you don't feel like cooking. That's why meal prep is so important. Yeah. I'm going to chow down on this, but take a look. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dietetic, diabetic friendly, low sodium. So if you've got high blood pressure, this is friendly too. Remember, oh, I'm going to show you how to make my barbecue spice, my saison spice, I'll show you all my spices I make that are salt-free that you can't find in the stores, okay? And I'll show you how to make them so you don't have to worry, all right? All right. I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. Tune in tomorrow. I got another one for us. Yes, I do. <laughs> all right? Big love from Uncle Chris. Oh, like, comment, and subscribe. Write to me, Uncle Chris, the food pantry chef at gmail.com. All right.